Humans, not Mother Nature, may trigger a new flood crisis tonight. Next on King 5 News at 5, volunteers scramble to sandbag the banks of the White River near Buckley. The dam upstream is open. Floodwaters are coming their way. We are in Snohomish. We are in Mount Vernon, where cleaning up is now the big job. And climb aboard Sky King for the latest pictures of the damage from the air. Flood Crisis 95, it's our top story. Also tonight, a world-famous human rights activist joins striking Boeing workers on the picket line. Hammering Man is motionless. His frozen attitude is part of World AIDS Day. And meet the millionaires. Their dream of winning the lottery came true. Their lives changed forever. Good evening, I'm Dennis Powell. I'm Lori Matsukawa in for Gene tonight. King 5 News is next. Number one at five, you're watching King 5 News. Coverage you can count on. With all the news for Western Washington, today's top story, and first alert weather. And now, King 5 News at five. You're watching King 5 News at five. Just over an hour ago, striking Boeing machinists in Auburn were joined on the picket line by an international human rights activist. King 5's Glenn Farley joins us live from the plant with the details of Harry Wu's visit on day 57 of the machinist strike. Well, Glenn. Dennis, this was sort of a combined protest down the street. There was a protest against the new Walmart store for selling products that are made in China. And there was also a protest along with striking Boeing machinists for, against the Boeing company for exporting jobs to China. His name is Harry Wu, and he's come to Auburn to protest against American business doing business with China. For 19 years, Harry Wu was held prisoner in Chinese conditions? labor camps, and he has returned to China to document that country's human rights violations, in particular the use of prison labor to build products for export. Earlier this year, he was arrested trying to enter China again. He was tried in a Chinese court, sentenced to 15 years, and then kicked out of the country. American companies like Bond and Walmart just seek the profit from China. They are silent about human rights abuses in China. Now he continues his human rights campaign in the U.S., and today he marched with striking Boeing machinists, who themselves are critical of China for another reason. The machinists say Boeing's dealings with China are costing them jobs. We're going to send them all our technology, all, all the ways that we build planes. You know, we're not going to have a job here. This is what the machinists are talking about. Two years ago, King 5 visited the XAC factory in Xi'an, China, just one of several factories making parts for Boeing planes. Boeing says it's putting some work into China because the Chinese require it in exchange for huge airplane orders. China will soon be Boeing's third largest market behind only the U.S. and Japan. Boeing says those sales to China are creating more American jobs than they're costing. But many machinists are unconvinced. So you think they'll send all the jobs to China? I don't know. I hope not. Now, the Boeing company argues that the only way to change human rights in China is to keep the United States engaged in international trade with that country. Harry Wu argues that the only way to reform China is through the pocketbook by not buying Chinese products and not doing business with that country. And this whole debate has not been resolved. Boeing spokesmen wouldn't go on camera today, but they did issue a statement about Harry Wu's visit. They say uh, Harry Wu does not have the best interests of Boeing or employees in mind in his visit here, saying that they don't want to see human rights confused with the basic idea of trying to get a new contract with the Machinist Union. I'm Glenn Farley reporting live in Auburn. Glenn, earlier we saw a video of those workers at the XAC factory. Are they prisoners as well? No, they are not prisoners. Uh, that accusation has not been made about Boeing's involvement over there. Of course, there have been other issues raised. Uh, one of the issues raised today was that is a plant that produces uh, military airplanes. I've been there. It does do that. But the Boeing company says, look, we create military airplanes, too. Okay, Glenn Farley, live tonight in Auburn. Today, people...
Striking Boeing machinists got a high-profile boost for their cause today. An internationally known human rights activist joined them. Kyra's Deborah Horn is live in Auburn. She has more for us this evening. Debbie. Well, Steve, the person who was here is Harry Wu. And as you may know, he has made a name for himself fighting human rights abuses in China. Now, he says he was not here only because of Boeing's relationship with China, but also because of the relationship Walmart has with China as well. And so Boeing machinists were joined today by members of the United Food and Commercial Workers Union. Western country boycott South Africa because human rights abuses. Is Chinese human rights records better than South Africa? Answer the question. Now, Wu says he is not trying to end the business relationship that all countries, ha all companies have with China. But he says Americans should know that some of the products they are buying that are made by the Chinese are made by people who are living in, working in forced labor camps. Now, as for Boeing officials, they say they are obeying all Chinese laws and that, in fact, a lot of the sales that they have with China are keeping Boeing workers employed. Of course, the workers disagree with that, and they say they are losing jobs to countries all around the world, including China. Now, Harry Wu will also be taking his message further today. He'll be at the University of Washington at 7.30 tonight. All right, Deborah Horn in Auburn. Thanks, Debbie. The Boeing machinist strike is now being felt by one of Boeing's biggest customers. United Airlines says it will have to cancel service on some routes because of delays in getting new planes. The airlines will cancel service on two international routes and is also dropping plans for a third new overseas route. Boeing said earlier this year it planned to deliver 235 jets in 1995. As of yesterday, only 195 had been delivered. That's 40 short of the goal with only a month to go. You're watching Como TV 4 in Seattle. Now, Como News 4. Boeing workers got a boost today from an internationally known human rights activist. Harry Wu, who spent 19 years in Chinese prison camps, says American firms like Boeing should not be buying components from a country that uses slave labor. Wu's protest comes on the 57th day of the Boeing strike. Como's Brian Johnson was on the lines today when Wu joined the protest. Brian? Well, Kathy, what happened is this. You know, Boeing does contract with a couple of Chinese companies to get parts. And Wu is so upset about American firms that contract with the Chinese that he came down here to that picket line over there and said this strike is not only against Boeing, it's against the Chinese government. We're Several hundred striking Boeing workers and their supporters marched on Boeing's Auburn plant today. The main attraction was Harry Wu and his message, fight those who profit from cheap Chinese labor. It is bad enough that Boeing is submitting the blackmail by the Chinese government and exporting some of your jobs. It has to be stopped. <laughs> Boeing officials declined to respond to the demonstration on camera, but they called what happened on the picket lines today totally inappropriate. A Boeing spokesman said, quoting now, global politics is not an issue that can be negotiated in a labor contract. The political climate in a country cannot be negotiated. But Wu and the Pickett say global politics must be negotiated. They say Boeing is sending jobs overseas. Once they export all the jobs from us, what do we have? How do we support our families? How do we make our house payments? It's very important. But Boeing says the workers on the picket line are overlooking just how important China is as a Boeing customer. This 1992 celebration came when Boeing delivered its 100th airplane to China. Boeing says by this year, one out of every seven planes built is sold to China. China is expected to buy $100 billion worth of planes in the next 20 years. And Boeing says China equals job security, and Seattle workers should remember that. But workers on the picket line wonder whose job security Boeing is talking about, U.S. workers or the Chinese. Boeing says even if it hauled all those jobs back to the United States, it'd probably only add about 200 at Wichita. 
but Boeing says it would stand the chance of losing a lucrative market. Dan, Kathy? Brian, we know the strike is affecting Boeing deliveries of airplanes. Could that have an, an impact on the strike? Well, the strikers think so, and Boeing admits it's only delivered 25 of 65 promised planes in the last three months of this year. But Boeing says it's not feeling any special pressure. All right, Brian, thank you. Army and... Live from your CBS News Station, you're watching 11 News at 5. Striking Boeing machinists get a big boost today on the picket line. And it comes from noted human rights activist Harry Wu. Wu joined the machinists for a rally in March in Auburn today. He told picketers that he is sympathetic to their cause, and he urged them to protest against companies doing business with China. The fight for human rights has taken Harry Wu from his homeland here to the United States. The people in over here is to have the rights to protect their own, own uh, profit, own, uh, own benefit, own the future. I appreciate everything that he's done. Uh, he's one person uh, in a small group that has stood up and uh, stood up for the rights of workers. And another thing... We Harry Wu spent 19 years in a labor camp in China. Earlier this year, he was expelled from that country. Tonight, Wu is scheduled to make a speech at the University of Washington. Striking Boeing machinists got a big morale boost in their 57th day on the picket lines. An internationally recognized human rights activist joined their cause. Cairo's Deborah Horn tells us why. It was a sight for tired, striking eyes. A parade of people from two unions, the Boeing machinists and employees of Walmart, brought together by Chinese-American human rights activist Harry Wu. Two disparate groups with at least one thing in common. The companies they work for do big business with China, a country that for 19 years held Wu in labor camps and that detained him for two months last summer. He says union leaders who joined the protest over his detention helped free him. Now he wants to help them. It is bad enough that Boeing is submitting the blackmail by the Chinese government and exporting some of your jobs. It has to be stopped, but it is almost criminal that these jobs then go to the factories owned and operated by the Chinese military. Four years ago, Wu brought back these pictures from a Chinese labor camp to prove his contention that prisoners are being forced to produce goods for sale here and in other Western countries. Inexpensive goods, he contends, made by people with no say over their fate. It raises a question that he says should trouble all Americans. Western country boycott South Africa because human rights abuses. Is Chinese human rights records better than South Africa? Answer the question. Boeing machinists say Wu's Workers appearance is proof their message is being heard far beyond Boeing's borders. I think it shows the workers that there's more people behind us than just ourselves. It gives a greater sense of community support. A community that now includes Harry Wu. Deborah Horn, Cairo News, Auburn. The machinist strike is having an effect on Boeing. The company says it has delivered just 23 jets since the strike started, well off the level from earlier this year. Major airlines are now thinking about cutting routes, and one's thinking about keeping older jets in service because of the strike. The Army says tonight it's gotten back most of those...